Hey, it's Jordan, and we're back with the Kentucky Route Zero. Uh, limits and demonstrations, I think. Yeah, yes? Yeah, yes? Yes. Yes. What do we have this time? We're on, I, th I think we're on the zero? Limits and demonstrations. Alula Chamberlain Retrospective, making the first major public showcase of our work in over 20 years. Hmm, painting, installation, or is hail size or time, place, and form. Originally debuted over a period of 35 years, designed the Chamberlain's various homes and studios between her beloved Mexico City and her native Elizabethtown. Its range of scale and impact from the intimate warmth of vertex check texture fetched to the infamous visage. Oh, I don't want to go that one. That's a scary one. These works share a confounding legacy in each of their debut exhibitions. They're nearly impossible to install. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, museum balked at the scale power requirements and high skilled labor and they maintain. Gotta calm down, lady. You're filling up a whole art gallery with your stuff. I'm just saying in the beginning of the other distinguished career that works on display here also trace extremes of the capability of the frontiers of our patients. Exhibitors. Do we even want to be? Interesting. Can I Is that a that, that, that a horse? That's a horse. Tell me. What 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 this mean? What do you think she meant? Basement puzzle number two. Well, what she mean puzzle? What that mean? This is something you can solve. It must be symbols. Artist, sunset, horse, or it's an anagram, or like a code. Maybe it's not a puzzle, but it's just about a puzzle. There's no right answer. There's never a right answer. What what you say now? What 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 art you be? Overdubbed Nam Jun Pike installation in the style of Edward Packer, 1965, 1973, 1980, my connected handheld tape playbook head, speaker system, voice of the artist, computer synthesized speech. What how how work? It's a bunch of old tape, and you run this tape playback head along it and just listen to the recordings, I guess. And you start in the middle. Oh, it, it, it's, that's the evil static demon that hangs in the air. Just for in the hallway, I'm in the office. The walls are lined with filling cabinets. A few drawers head open, the doors ajar. I like that character we have in our universe, the static thing that hangs in the air. It occasionally takes people. You don't want to be taken by the static that hangs in the air. Static voice recordings. What's off the right tape? Let's have options and monotone. That's cool. I just activate computer rotate too. Oh, um. Oh, is this a is this a tax based adventure now? Um. What what are cards? I will examine. Who holds was the first draft of the poetic subsystem? I can't read the punched cards by sight. Donald can, I think. To leap room rotate. Four inches. I want to activate computer. Oh, we're we're doing something now. So loud, I love it. I'm now holding two punch cards. One of them just a scribbled note caves. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Uh caves card. Tell me more. A trail in the park. Well it's not really a trail. It's a trail. But it is kind of a trail. It's more like a tendency. They tend to be fewer plants here on the path we've been walking. Oh, walking at the edge of a massive hole, the dirt gives way to mossy rock as the ground sinks into darkness. Jessup and Donald are pulling a rope down out of the cave. They have computer equipment to hide their backs, so do I. 
Uh, we will go in the cave. That's fine. Everything's down here now. The final resting place of what? Of what? To remember a fond gesture. To regret a harsh word. I will regret a harsh word. Oh, there's a here speaking. I don't know if I like it. Okay, for 15 years, I think, a lot of other things happened, so here's a story. I moved to Mexico State for three years, I had no contact with Joseph O'Donnell. Just despite that, I had a point. I think I appreciate the community had Mexico at the war. I came back, I didn't call them, it was the university. I don't, I don't know if I like these people behind me speaking to me. I don't like hearing the voices. The voices are bad. Okay, I guess I'll start running out white. No instructions? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna reach this long one at the top here. Is it cheating to skip over there? I won't tell a soul. Look at our work, our research. You'll die in these damn cold caves. And what about me? You'll know they'll come back. We'll go deeper. That's how they'll never find us. Did you hear their voices? They're not. They'll find you, but not me. Oh, this is, this is getting creepy. Who finds for me to hold down K? You can't stay here and leave me. I'm not going back to the surface. I'm taking my station wagon. I'm heading down the zero. The zero. That's forever. Who recognizes your voice? See this tape I'm done reporting. I'll put it in the mail and then you can see what your damn machine does with it. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't. Is this. Is this art? This. This art seems to be a little otherworldly. Visage. Uh, what, what, what? 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 That? What the fuck is that? It's like a ribbon. Have you seen the visible man? It's. Slice a visage to build a visage, a puzzle to its owner. What? <laughs> I think that was written by a computer. Sounds like it. Slice a visage to build a visage, a puzzle to its owner. I think it's lovely. Okay. That's nice. What are you? picture on the TV. It's a lighthouse. A window or something. Is it a lighthouse? Uh, let's let's go away from the TV that makes lots of noises. It's a loud TV. Feel so strangely alive. I mean, the whole thing's about to fall over. Kind of anxious, right? Those are some tears. I don't feel really drawn to it, but it just makes me nervous. Let's 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 leave these. Uh, oh, I wanna. No, I do wanna go there. Uh, uh, excellent. Yeah, I need to get to work anyway.
Oh. Back to play. Was that a, uh, a prelude to Act 2 or something? No, the Chamberlain. Read your application. You give your application to the Gaston Trust for Unimagined Architecture. Gaston. Review process. Multiphase bond committee analysis. Portfolio submissions. Souls care for review by a panel of subject matter experts. Each applicant's notability and relevance in the field. Oh, God. I thought that man was, like, hanging for a second. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Horror movie. It's been extremely selective in the process is to maintain the standards we've established over 35 years in operation. Sorry, Lula. Sincerely, Dr. Carl Stone Norden, architect, guest on trust for imagined architecture. That's a hastily handwritten note. Sorry for the condescending form lover. Love your work. Unfortunately, I just do the mail here. Your obsivt Robert. Uh, Lula folds the letter up and puts it in her handbag. Uh, Lula opens a folder on her desk labeled Proposals. Ending letterhead reading Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces. Site Hospital. Proposed use to auto dealership. Site Distillery. Proposed use Graveyard. Site to basketball course. Proposed use Keno. Uh, I want to hear more about this graveyard. It's going down to operation to less than half a site distillery built on top of a graveyard originally. A hybrid distillery graveyard could share resources. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, that sounds excellent. I love it. Site one. Auto dealership. We'll review proposal one. Tell me more of this hospital. Sanitation, audience, sanitation plans can be really lax. Small operating rooms can be repurposed in office. Large cubicle style administrative also could be repurposed in showrooms. Mm -hmm. we, we, we will endorse it again. We will endorse these people's dreams. Oh, hello, mister? Are you... Are you looking at me? Rick clears his throat. Busy. Uh, it's not important. I mean, sorry, it's not what I meant. Um, did you get my note? Uh, about the office party? I'm going stag. Oh, yeah, that's... I didn't mean... Hey, I'm probably not going anyway. I'll just do you now. A new dress, so... So, how'd your application go? Yeah, it didn't go so well. Unfortunately. I'm not going anywhere. How's your goldfish? It's fine. It's in the bowl. <laughs> it remains in the bowl. Act 2, scene 1. Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces. It's an interesting name. It sounds fine at first, but then I start thinking about it, and it sounds a little kind of... Mm, mm. Uh, did you get a good rest in the truck? I know you love a drive. I do too, actually. The wind in your ears. Yeah, I saw you back there, Blue. You good boy. You good boy. Looks like the in the right direction. Yeah, looks like they're still open. Might be the night shift. What do you think they do here? I don't know what they do here. Um, it looks like a cathedral. <laughs> a cathedral with an office building in it. Do you think we're inside or outside? What is inside? Um, I can't quite tell from the surroundings. We're on the inside. Just feels like it's still outside since it's not man-made. 
Are we in the cave now? Did we or did we did we go in there? Let's cross this barrier. Uh maybe still under construction? Can I kinda walk past it? No? Can I go over here? Oh my leg is all sorts of fucked up. I wanna go down. Where where go? Can I touch you? Are you touchable? You're not touchable. Uh, lady, where where go? Can I go downstairs? Am I able to do such a thing? I imagine stairs are a bit hard. Okay, I don't. We don't want to go that way. That's a dumb way. Stairs are dumb. We can't handle them. Can I just kind of shimmy past here, perhaps? Mayhap. We can. Okay, good. What is that? Is this like plants or something? I think so. Ding! I'm here! Hello? Hello? Oh, there's, there's this person here. Marianne. Well, here you are. Better late than ever, I guess. Just unload the whiskey over there by the elevator. I'll figure something out. Uh, we're, we're a bit lost, actually. So you're not the... Sorry, honest mistake. We're supposed to have a little celebration here at the office, but the whiskey never showed up. So your truck had thought. She didn't really look like one of the boys from the distillery. Oh, hey, it's the Peoples. Uh, what you celebrating? As I understand, when I'm here, I keep the fans turning and the furnace hot and listen for the bell. At home, I'm a different person. I don't have to think about it. I just paint. I think you're new to this territory. I expect you just mean passing through. Uh, do you know where Dogwood Drive is? I have a feeling it's going to take me about five acts to get there, but I got to keep asking. There's some stairs about that. Well, the map works, but first we've got to get you in the system, so you'll need an appointment with one of the ingestion clerks. Now let's see. Make his book. One is out on the side. We can make some calls and see if we got any free. What? What? What business is this exactly? Have you seen our grotesques? What? I don't know if I want to see a grotesque. What is a grotesque? Oh. They make noises at me. Different crowd. The T. I don't know about these TVs. Two Nevada Bird. The cartoon bird collects pieces for its nest. A scarf, a plastic shopping bag. A bit of young girl's hair. The nest is warm but precariously fragile. What do you have to say? Singing TV. Television is playing instruction to the owner of the design. It's crucial to maintain proper lighting in an elevator. In the absence of sight, passenger sense of motion is greatly enhanced. Passengers should never feel as they are physically ascending or descending. There is should create the illusion that the building is flat. This is the mark of a successful elevator design. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any, any further? Yes, you do. It's like a closed circuit security feed of a housing property. Hallway. Why do you people have these? Why, why, why do you have these? What is a grotesque? Why is the static filling my ears? Amphitheater, a microphone sits in the middle of the stage. The lights are slightly dim. The speakers hum impatiently. Oh, okay. Have I looked at your things? Is that what you wanted from me? Let's go back this way. Let's hobble our cripple ass over here. Why do you have a thing right here? I do like that as I look at this more, I can't tell whether we're inside or outside. It's so unclear. Are you back? I looked at your things. I've been so impatient. You never know. 
heavy meeting with Lula Chamberlain. She's a senior clerk and doesn't usually handle the ingestion process. I don't know about I don't know about this. Ingestion is not the word that I want them to use for what they're gonna do to me. Only one with Roman replied this evening. Let's go to station on the fifth floor reading some diagrams. The elevator's just back to the left there. Okay, thank thank you. Thank you. We're in an alternate world. Three books are piled on the table. Service manual for switch pumps, some architectural plans for bungalow, and a same collection of Japanese death haiku. It was protruding from the bottom of the stack. What's it say? Bureau of Secret Tourism. Interesting. For ritualistic directions to bizarre locations. I want to read that. That sounds interesting. Can somebody look at my leg? It's all sorts of fucked up. Ding dong. Let's go. Going up. Yep. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Archives and records. Bears. <laughs> um. It can't. It can't, like, be actual bears, right? They're not gonna have, like, a bear just kill me, are they? First floor. Second floor. Okay, no, no, they have act they, they got actual bears. Okay. Hey. Hey, friends. How you doing? You good boys? You good bear boys? You're not gonna kill me, are ya? You're not gonna maul me, are ya? You seem like nice bears. You seem fine and not horrid. I'm gonna get back on this elevator. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, no, I wanted to go up, actually. Oh, well, let's look at somebody else. She's on the fifth floor, right? Uh, let's go to the fourth floor. Let's go up again. Is there anything interesting here? Can I take some archives? I feel like you people need a better filing system than piles and piles of boxes. Even though that is 1,000% whatever company uses. I've been with, like, two companies in my life where I've been in the situation where I've seen, like, the archives of shit. And it's always totally like that. People tend to be more organized in, like, the last couple of years. But once you get to, like, to, like, past five or seven years, any sorts of financial documents, they just end up in piles and piles of shit in, like, a warehouse or a basement somewhere. So that, that seems true to life, based on my experiences. I want to go in. I got to be the person that filed all that shit in my college job. Anytime I was done scanning like financial documents, I was like a student worker. Um, so anytime I was done with that, I get to go file shit in the basement. That was nice. The creepy old basement. Did she get to listen to music? Oh. oh. Record player. I don't, are y'all are you listening to this shit? There you go. Don't you people know how record players work? And they were just like letting it skip. Reg is hard at work examining some diagrams. Measuring angles with a plastic protractor. Um, are you Lula? No. She's up here by the fire. She's probably back at her real desk now on the first floor. Piss! Speaking of which, back on the first floor. Can I see anything from over here? Just curious. Nope. We cannot. 
hobble back this way. I need like a wheelchair or something. This ain't going well. I probably shouldn't be on this leg, to be honest. Maybe I can get like a cool robo leg. There's a column of elevator buttons. Uh, f first floor. I hope she hasn't moved again. Lula, you better stay fucking still. Why, why, why do we have a bare floor? Is there any particular reason we have that? Just wondering. I have a feeling this is Lula. Uh, we're looking for Lula Chamberlain. I don't know if she's much too busy. God damn it! Okay. First, she'll need to get a case number. Oh, piss off. Just over there at the end of the room. Happy to help. Oh, I hate the bureaucracy. Can't this weird pseudo afterlife be efficient? Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. I just need your ingestion card and a list of your last five permanent... Last five permanent addresses! Uh, ingestion card? Oh, no, ingestion card. Okay, that's okay. Just go talk to... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Do you care for an ingestion card? No problem. Happy to help. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like I'm out, but I know there's some bad... God fucking damn it. Uh, by the fire. This is just a... Wait, this is a run around. Where's Lula? Oh, no, it's... I mean... That's her right there in the cardigan. L Lula. Lula, you gotta help me. I can't do this. Lula, I can't deal with this. We gotta fix this now. <laughs> you found the paperclip labyrinth? Well, you made it eventually. I bet that could have gone on for a long time. I'm exhausted. I'll free my seat, but my ankles are turning on me. Um, The receptionist said you could point us in the right direction. There's still a waypoint for you, I'm sure. Unless you're trying to go. Uh... We are going there, but we're having trouble navigating the zero. Just navigating apropos of nothing? The zero doesn't work like other roads. You can't just drive and expect to find yourself somewhere. You must be more deliberate than when driving on surface roads. Kentucky, did you know that you have like these underground cities and shit? Were you aware of that? We're looking for Dogwood Drive. Dogwood Drive. That's funny. Do you know I used to live on a Dogwood Drive? Basement full of insect, attic full of birds, a few roommates. We all worked at the university. Had a dog, drank whiskey and beer, and made sculptures. That dog was a surface road. With a name like that, it would have to be. What are you doing on the zero? Um. <laughs> uh, Weaver. Uh, both? Both? Most recently, Weaver sent us this way. Weaver Marquez. Oh, do you know her? She came through here as an intern. My old colleagues must have referred her. Do you know? I never asked. You know, there's not much challenging work here, much less for a gifted mathematician. She helped translate some notes on architectural plans picked up in Mexico. She's very bored. Sit on the steps by the river on her lunch break and talk about geometry. I hope she wasn't in trouble. I was touched with her so suddenly. Hmm. She went to Centennial Professor's Quixotic Research Project. You know the type. Gray-haired, intellectual, narcissistic. You're so vague. <laughs> you speak to me. Where's your girl? But I'm afraid you've been misled. Excuse me. Uh, but where's the dog would drive you? Maybe it's the same one. No, it's not possible. Oh, okay. Pale dog would drive. They've renamed all the streets you see. Too many streets with the same names. It was never a problem before, but now we have these databases. It's all too confusing for the computer. I don't know that it is. Although I don't know what year this takes place in. Uh, it, it takes place in 20XX. In collections, I call them. So my dog would drive is pale dog would drive. Another large leaf dog would drive. Himalayan flowering dog would drive. 
Well, I'm still just a girl, so we might hope. Oh, do we have to go through all that shit? Um, you have a record of those streets? Fourth floor. I've been there. Maybe find it or zero for od odonyms. G for generic or S for specific. Uh, okay. How does your filing system work exactly? What is an odonym? I think of pseudonym. What is an odonym? I don't actually know. Archives and records. Fourth floor. We will go to fourth floor. Fourth floor. S O or G. It's either O to M, specific or generic. Or general, whatever the fuck it was. Obviously. I mean, so it's clear. That's how I file my stuff. Uh, do document. Damn, this place is a mess. Okay. Take a look at the logbook, I guess. Maybe some kind of system. I'll just start digging. Let's just scribble on the inside covers. Most pages are just a list of titles, names, and dates. Uh, inside front cover. Document staff, please do not transfer any more records from the storage unit until we get the new file account. It's in. We're up to F, and then we'll have to do for now. What if it's in G? Or O? Or S? So focus on activities beginning with the letters A, B, C, D, or F. Or activities most likely involve research on subjects beginning with those letters. Primary air quality is not okay because it relates to health. Oh my good god. Oh my good Christ in heaven. Some confidence if I use it quickly check down. This was, this was organized by insane people. The coal mining operations checked down back in by several different people, etc. Uh, inside back cover. Failing antique shops. That's where I need to go. Checked on page 63. Page 63. Signing Edibome. I met an Edbome. I wonder if he knows more. Labeled on the rest off from the first few letters of the alpha. I couldn't find anything with A or G or an S. Oh, these bastards. Uh, Baum was on the floor with the people, I think, on the first floor. We have this weird system where we have a ground floor and then a first floor, like some non-American hellhole. First floor. Take me there. <laughs> Ridiculous. I hope they haven't moved elsewhere. Um, which one were you? Which are you? L L L L There's Lula. Um, I thought they were over here. Can I not talk to them? They want me to talk to Lula again? I will do so. You know where Ed Bohm is? They fucked off. Let me get around your desk. Nothing? That's unfortunate. Well, he still wants me in transit. We've been used something recently, it's all a bit in process. This is a cathedral not so long ago, can you believe it? I knew it! Then the Bureau reclaimed it. The old congregation has been directed to one of our storage facilities. <laughs> at the church, uh, Marion at reception can give you directions. Just come back here when you have the files. When we get the necessary paperwork, have the information analyzed. Dr. Truman, he's a special squaring amulets of the joints and limbs, and I know he works at night. His home office is in a small neighborhood on the east side edge of Bowling Green. Uh, east edge of Bowling Green. Take care of each other. Okay. Are we getting back on the road, then? Have we found out all we can from this area, I suppose. Lobby. Take me out of here. Take me home. Country roads. 
I would like to walk at a normal pace. I feel that that would be helpful. Go over here. Slowly but surely. Oh, you definitely need a, ro uh, a robo leg, Conway. I think that would help you out immensely. Goodbye, Marianne. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, Blue. Good boy. You good boy. You good boy. Get get in in truck. Get get in get get in truck. Get get get. Uh, um. Do I get in my truck? Or is, do I did I do? Oh no. No. Okay. Ma Marianne, can do I talk to you? What Marianne? What do? Do you know Marianne? Do you know what I do? Or am I meant to talk to this Mr. Bone? You need... Oh, yeah. Uh, Lewis said you could direct us to the church. Oh, sure. The old storage lot. Back on the zero and drive until you hit the crystal, then turn around. It'll make sense once you get on the road. You can handle it. Okay. So either... <laughs> either... We have directions either east of Bowling Green, right, or go to the crystal and then turn around. I think I know which one I can figure out more. Uh, they are ready to leave. They are ready to leave. We are underground. The jaw. Oh, I don't like the jaws. I don't like the jaws at all. The bat wings. I don't like that either. The cactus. Well, the cactus is okay. The lightning bolt. What the fuck are you? The sandwich? Oh, he's pretty cool. The icosahedron? Oh, I love the icosahedron. Everybody loves the icosahedron. The cathode ray? Eh, it's a bit, it's a bit basic. The bottle. I hope I'm going the right way. A TV. The the cenote. I knew what that word was. The pipe organ. The crystal. Where the fucking goddamn shit am I? The beer. That's not. Wait, what? Oh shit! They said the, there was a crystal, wasn't there? Piss. Mary, your instructions are crazy. Where the shit are we? Oh, Act 2, Scene 2. Um. Bureau, uh, I couldn't get out, Mary. It was too difficult. I couldn't understand it. Mary, could you explain that to me again? It was too hard. It was too hard. I couldn't. Oh, there's a boat. Is there a dock here? Where where are we? Are we inside or outside? It's so unclear. I'm gonna go on the boat. Can we go sail can you sail in zero? Probably. There's probably a sea lane here. Um I see everybody's still at work. Mary is nowhere to be found. Um the uh that that path was too difficult for me i couldn't figure it out couldn't do it it was too hard i see lula still here uh lula i struggled mightily driving so if you could just like tell me where i need to go again that'd probably be good
Lula, can I speak with thee? Anybody? Did any anybody? Nobody wants to talk to me anymore. Um What if I go on to the next conference room? I haven't talked to anybody there. Uh conference room. Maybe somebody is there that I must speak with. Hello? Are we having a fun, fun meeting here? Anybody I can uh, talk to? Yes? No? <laughs> excuse, excuse me real quick. Let me just poke my way through here. Oh. What are you? Is that just a homeless man? I think it's just a homeless man. Um. Um. Are you gonna you gonna play us a little ditty? Oh. He plays the scary music. I like pipe organs. I like the kind of music they do. Oh. Organ performance. What you watching? Secure corners of nameless interiors, astronomical diagrams projecting the distances between celestial bodies, a painting by Giorgio de Chico. Lots of unpopular anagrams. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna scooch my way through here, if you don't mind. Um, is there anything else to see in the archives before we leave here? Make sure. Anything? Nope. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. This uh, it's it's hard navigating. Okay. Oh, he's really going for it. Lobby. 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 Bingy. Let's go back here, maybe. Oh, hey, what's that? What's that? This crab is wearing an empty inkjet cartridge as a shell. Adorable. Don't you love pollution? A dense chain of paper clips to the shell. That's fun. I hear water. Are we are we like safe? There's a lot of crab. I was wearing a manila folder as a shell. Things are getting weird. A pencil cup is a shell. Anything 
else over here? No. Let, let's let's try again. Maybe we can do better this time. Let's look for that crystal. They head back into the night. It's been night for a while now, I must say. Okay, okay. Not the jaws. We don't want the jaws. The jaws are bad. Oh, I'm curious. No, yeah, find the crystal and turn around. That's not a crystal. That's not a crystal either. An icosahedron, I don't know if we call that a crystal. The cathode ray is also not a crystal. The bottle is certainly not a crystal. The TV is not a crystal either. The cenote is not a crystal. The pipe organ is also not a crystal. That's a crystal. Found it. And then we go backward. Self storage. Found it. That was so obvious. Act two, scene three. St. Thomas Church. <laughs> In the storage facility. <laughs> Hi, janitor. <laughs> why, why do they have mass here? Here for the night mass? Uh, kinda? Tonight it's a homily on work and need. I've heard this one before. Um, are you the pre preacher? Oh, I'm the janitor. Okay, I mean, that's kind of what I figured by you know, your name being janitor, but, you know, whatever. Church without a congregation. When they first moved in here, man, this place was packed. They had a mass every night, two on Sunday. Two on Sunday? How many masses do you need? Members quickly doing little ones folks start to see there's a thing that was falling apart. They lost their center gravity and just started wobbling. So little tape, same with the organist. I found some old acetates in the bureau archives. Photos of people in churches, so I keep it running. Do what you have to, right? Uh, well, well, we're actually looking for some of those documents. Unit C-315. Okay. It's down at the other end of the building, same floor. I didn't get the night mass started, but you can borrow my keys. Thank you. You're looking kind of pale. We should probably get that figured out. Well, I better get this running. Uh, I'll, uh, sure, I'll listen. There are many days on which we proclaim the value of labor, but celebrate the piety of the hard working through feast or abstinence, recognizing Saint Joseph the Worker, who is foster father to our Lord Jesus, and who trained him in carpentry in the merit of sweat. This is one such day. On this day we celebrate with the feast of Saint Joseph the Worker, on this day, other workers are also celebrating. Workers who do not attend Mass, or even one like it. Even workers who do not attend a church at all, but who toil with clarity, with dedication, and with perspicacity. Perspicacity. They do as we do here in our church, inasmuch as they reflect the activity of God. And we do, they cultivate the earth, and at sundown they call the fruit of their labor very good. My leg is killing me. Too expensive. My dad cut his arm pretty bad. He stitched himself back up because we didn't have health insurance. His hand didn't work very well, and he got pretty depressed. And eventually, he just sort of. Well, I guess I don't know what he should have done. Who knows, right? Is this a hobby? 
card game, science fiction, and perspective. Uh, what, what are your hobbies? Uh, you know, I like some card games, a little sci-fi, and uh, maybe some perspective geometry. Fucking Lovecraft guy. When I run the slideshow, I play the tapes, and I don't get paid for it. They take it pretty seriously, but nobody's telling me I should. Is that a hobby? Seems like there ought to be more serious work for it. Those that you and I aren't allowed to participate in, I don't think. I don't remember them anyway. Hi, got it. Uh, we were just listening to the sermon. <laughs> oh yeah, that whole thing. You don't look good. Let's head to the bureau and get this straightened out. Maybe we should go to see that doctor the clerk recommended. Yeah, let's let's fuck off. Go goodbye. Goodbye. Jesus, are you all right? What the hell? Uh, I'm okay. Your leg is pinned. I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. Put any weight on that leg? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't think about it. Just put some Robitussin on it. Now let's get you out of the tram. There you go. Let's see if this thing has power. Man, look at me. Can you hear me? I'm not an old man yet. He collapsed. I think he blacked out. He was mumbling about the old mind for a minute. Uh, I'm okay. We're going to see that doctor. How do we get to this address for here? Um, I don't know. It's pretty tricky going back and forth between, you know, here and there. The bureau's the only way I know. Some of those folks do it all the time. Commuters. Just go back the way you came, find the crystal, and then turn around. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I came this way. Kentucky, you got some weird ass roads. I'm just saying. Like, could you have, like, like Kentucky, could you have, like, an infrastructure or something? Could you just do that? I feel that'd be good for you. The bell. The tree. I don't know what any of these are. The sprocket. The anchor. I don't like when the ghostly objects wave themselves to me. It's very concerning. I like how they... I like the style of the caves, where it's like the, the lines each time. It's like an is, isogra isographic or something. Something like that. Uh, tell me how... Tell me... Oh, do... Oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't keep going. We'll never fucking find our way back. Act 2, scene 4. I need a doctor. My leg is so fucked. Don't make me keep walking on it, please. It's bad. Y'all got crabs. Did you know you have crabs? What's what's with the cultural revival of crabs? What 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 happened there? They're like in all the Souls game now, and I feel like crabs are just everywhere. What what happened? Was that spurned on by the crab rave? Did the crab rave have make the crabs like a cultural revival or something? Um, we need to get to the interstate sixty-five. You're in our system now. I can process you whenever you're ready to go back. Just let me know. Uh, are we ready to be processed? Okay. We're looking for Dr. Truman. Of course, this is in the neighborhood just outside of Bowling Green. 165 going south. Okay, go on 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory. 
Oh, they they like give me actual instructions. I'm I'm terrible with directions. Okay, take a right. I got it. Okay. Go on the 65, going southwest, and then, and then, take, it was the observatory. We need to find the observatory. Oh, I started there. Uh, are you an observatory? You look exactly like one. Uh, it was take a right, take it. We want to go right here, and then, and then there was just what if you continue going north? I found it. This he neighborhood has been demolished. It's in place as a large museum. Maybe he lives in a museum. Listen, there's no way to know. These people, they live in strange places. These Kentucky cave dweller, dwellers. <laughs> Who even knows? Who knows? Maybe the doctor lives in a museum. There's no way we could possibly know. <laughs> hey, Blue. How you doing? Yeah, he was talking to his dog. I was a weirdo. What did he say? It didn't seem that weird. Tall, kind of stooped over, limping bad. Looked like an old drunk, if you ask me. But they were both drunk, breaking in here, looking for a place to sleep it off. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a course somewhere. That's loyalty for you. I don't like that we're being narrated. Uh, what were you doing up that late? Times. That's okay, I was just looking for frogs. What were the man and the lady talking about? They were looking for Dr. Truman. He was already gone. God damn it! They didn't know, so they kept looking around. Piss! I just assume they're from the power company. You know, they're always coming by on an house and messing with this or that. I just shut myself up in my room and waited out. No sense getting involved. They definitely weren't from the power company. They have to do their business, tells them like me, but I've got a generator, but you know some of these folks around here are unprepared. Totally unprepared. Where's the doctor? I'm gonna fucking die. Do you want me to die? No. Well then we're doctor. Perched up there. Um, are we just are we fucking off? Hey, it looks like a deluge out there. Oh, don't open that indoors. You'll get fifty thousand years of bad luck. Um. Maybe we shouldn't go that way. That's a bad way. Going up is bad. Can we go more down? Shannon, where is the doctor? Do we have any idea? Do we have the remotest clue? Oh, oh. Oh, it's a ha is, is that a house? Do you live in here? See, people do live in the museum. Are you the... Who, who are you? He's playing in that empty cabin. He asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell him. You fuck! Where did he go? It's a secret. Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Why? Who is Ezra? It's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother Julian. Of course, you're going to help us, but I can't say anything about that. We have a lot of secrets. God damn it! Goddamn children and their secrets. That's well, my parents. I told them we were upstairs in the greenhouse. Uh, of course I do. 
like another house he lived in. He wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. It took a long time to explore. When he came back out, he told me all about it. What did he find? What did he... What, what did he do? What did he do upstairs? He looked out the window. He could see the museum better than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together. He could have to see the shape of it better from up there. I don't like when the screen goes all black. Said he went into the basement. I don't like when we go into the basement. The cabin doesn't have a basement. He said he found a staircase in a closet. He went along the pit and climbed down. It was so long. His arms got very tired. And he fell in the dark. He didn't get hurt though. He did he didn't get hurt. We found a hidden uh the garden was very beautiful. He felt so calm. He found a, he fell asleep. He woke up on the floor of the cabin. What what the fucking shit is this place? What what the shit is this place? I wanna go home. I don't want to stay here. It's bad here. Can we go home? Oh, I love that perspective a bit. I love the stuff in the foreground there. Very well done. What do you have? Are your parents home? I need to speak with them. Um, can I go in here? There's an open door. Um, can I go here? Yes, they must have gone through some papers here. There's in some disarray. A few folders were pulled out and left on the table. This is such a sticker. She's a real organized, I mean. What folders did they look at? Yeah, mostly stuff about the building side, I guess. So the original residences were the level of the neighborhood. I guess they were looking for one of the old residents. Where's the doctor? Got a border, so I guess they didn't find what they were looking for there. Then shit, piss, fuck! Go ahead again. It looks kind of slowed down. It seems like I know what you folks are doing. It seems like the residents just kind of settling in. Uh, we'll get your boys back to work soon. Get that last invoice. I don't know where to go, lady. I have no fucking idea. I have no earthly idea where this doctor has gone. There's no knowing. There's no knowing. Folks are on display. Ha. Huh. Most positions. Why are we all living in the museum? Is this some is this some weird uh, from the mix up files of Mrs. Basilie Frank Weiler shit? That's an old reference. Oh thank god, there's a person. It's much just a bit early before the storm started. So the strangers left the gate and the young woman with whom I knew it couldn't be. And right then for a glass of bourbon voice, they politely declined, so I just talked to them on the porch for a bit. What did you talk about? About the neighborhood, I told them about Hudson and the sailboat and the nice young couple in the greenhouse and the charming Dr. Truman who used to live here. They're very interested in him, but of course, well I don't know where he went. Why does nobody know? Well, I don't believe everyone's fit on the houseboat before. Never seen an ocean. It's really trying to open. It's hard. Except to draw from moving. It isn't perfect, but what harm ever is. I wish the house would sway a bit. I find that it saddles my nerves. Well, if we have another storm like that last one. These people are some strange folks. Can I go more this way? 
Does literally anybody know where this damn doctor is? Does anybody know? Go up. Go up. Maybe we'll see him from there. If we go up. I think you need to feed Blue more. He is far too skinny. I know he's an old dog, but still. late at night, but I'm just rushing around. Uh, so what were they looking for? They are looking for Dr. Truman, but of course, I had nothing to say. I no was hurt, you know. Where, where is Dr. Truman? And what happened to his charming house? Well, where the shit? I suppose we never will. What do you mean we never will? Oh, that- oh, good god. We need to not get taken by this big-ass bird. Do you know? Does anybody know? Oh, good god. Does anybody know? Bird, do you know? Here, here, a thing on my was in the back of the inventory when it came by. Got 30 cases of candles in, and each one of those has to be individually you know. The neighbors, if they weren't up to any harm, just passing through. Just passing through. I see. We're always just passing through. Do you know? Ezra, you're a person. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? Oh. Uh, we got a couple of them at the shop. This is the only one that runs. That's fine. Me and Jilin don't use a truck. We just carry the houses. Okay. Where do you take them? Take them out to the forest every night. And then we bring them back at dawn. Before the museum opens. Why do you take them to the forest? I place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. And again, it gives them money. So we take them out to the porch to sleep and bring them back in the morning. Uh, is your family out in the forest? I don't know. They're... I don't know where they are. Good job to do here now. Taking these people out to the forest at night so they can sleep. And maybe if the rest of them will be like Dr. Truman and want to stay out there. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! So, how do I get there? Follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. It means Julian can take you. You were just about to go anyway. Excellent! I just gotta call him over. Go, go, oh, uh, um. Is that. Is, is Julian the bird? Oh, shit! Set out e e e e east. Okay, no, I I am at, I am navigating. I I am in fact. Church, no, le for, for forest. Far not farmhouse. Ooh, a small figure. 
Hunting Ray Finger, Rocks alongside Run King. Appears to be a guitar case. A dog. Looks tired. Yeah. Keep going that way, bird. We must follow the river. Elkhorn Mine. Above the huge swing tipple looks like a small wooden lattice framing the edge of the mine entrance. Still Green River? I can't quite tell. There's a lake. I saw if I like stuffs its limbs into a smart blue suit and trudges slackly out of view. Oh, okay. That sounds fine and dandy. I will continue this way. Jillian, you're a lovely bird. Can you imagine how long it would have taken me to drive this shit? There'd be no way. Um, am I still going the right way? Did it say pass the river? And then hop over. Okay, no, no, we're, we're good. Hop over Lake Cumberland. We're good. We're good. We're doing good. Oh, it's gotta be you. I see you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm swooping. Act 2, scene 6. A forest. A forest. One of the forests. Oh. Um... Okay. I'll just close my eyes. <laughs> Some strain up. Why, why is this delivery so important to you? It's my last delivery. Sorry. The set's closing up the shop. It's, uh, damn. To be with these people, but you're pretty wild when you were younger. <laughs> well, I like you anyway. farther now. I think I see where the settlement ends over there. These woods go on forever. I got in trouble for swimming too far. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm seeing shit. Close with brother, sister, kids. Uh, I have a brother, but I wouldn't say we're close. What's he do? 
Uh, some kind of banker. Kind of a jerk sometimes. Oh, them bugs are going crazy. Uh, he's too good for me, I guess. I guess I was closest with Weaver. As close as someone can be with a girl like that. She was always on her own wavelength, but we were the same age growing up. Everyone else was so busy. She disappeared, I got pretty angry, and I guess we just stayed that way. I never really understood her, but I knew her. It's only without someone like that around. Sorry, I'm You're a good listener. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that car is great. Oh, that's... That car is a lot. Where? Oh, how weird. How you doing, lady? So, oh, thank God, we finally got to the doctor. Where have you been? We lost sight of you for a minute. Yep, it's easy to get lost, especially out in the woods like this. I never really get lost, though. I just look out for Julian. He's always around. Bigger than these houses, but, but it made them worried all the time. And the bank took it back. We had to sleep at the bus station, but I couldn't ever get to sleep. So I just went out to fly around every night with Julian. We flew really far, and we never got lost. But then we came back in the morning, and they were all gone. They just left you? I don't think so. All our stuff was still there. Maybe they got lost somewhere. Let's see what's on TV. And yeah, I think during that accident review is when I really realized how badly they had me. How else can you pay for medical school? I have college friends with debts that can't expect to pay that back unless you're planning to sell painkillers on the side or something. Or, you know, some kind of administrative thing. I seen arthritis did to my grandmother, my best friend in high school destroying his wrist building synthesizers. I mean, he was like 17. The ailments of the joints and limbs just seem important to me. Yeah! Those will fuck you up real bad. Don't go through your joints, kids. You need those for a long time. You need scholarship with that pharmaceutical company. I had a lot of strings attached. Boy, he has some more practice. He might follow the market trends a bit. Hey, thanks to all those seminars, and I'm an expert on the medical use of neuropinol TM. It's not so bad. Something about that, like, what happened? Um, there was some ghosts. Uh, it, uh, a ghost tried to eat my leg. Animal? Piece of machinery? That could be ugly. I've seen some joints twisted right out of hole. Oh. I, I like my joints inside and where they're supposed to be. Uh, they're singing about going home. It's scary, but they can still sing about it. Friend's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? I hope not. Snap it back into place, whatever you gotta do. There's nothing we can't handle. I might have a few things to look at for in the future. Be a bit gentler with the leg or the way you walk, but you'll be okay. I've dealt with some of the cases before. Nerf and all. It's pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases. The way it works is I'll count backwards from five to start the process. And we'll just have a normal conversation as the interrupt and all takes effect. Then I'll get started. What, what are you doing to me? Five, four, three, two, one. The pharmaceutical company has different standards for billing, so it's a bit complex now. I can't talk about the bills right now. I'm elsewhere. This is some good shit.
End of Act 2. Yay! That was interesting. This is a weird place. This is a strange place, and I have a feeling it's only going to get stranger. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do, come back and see me next time. We'll be taking on the next act. Act 3, um... Looks like the entertainment. It'll be here and there along the Echo and Un Pueblo de Nada. So yeah, look forward to that. So anyway, have a good day. Goodbye!